We have some new information surrounding the release date for the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, which is due for release in 2021. Alongside this, we also have some details involving the dark side battle scene in Snyder's cut of the film. I'm going to be discussing all of this information and outlining my thoughts towards the release date and Darkseid's involvement in the film. I will leave links in the description of this video to all the topics I discuss. Before I get into it though, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news and reveals for Zack Snyder's Justice League, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like rating. Without further ado, let's get into the latest details for the Snyder Cut of Justice League. So Justice League still doesn't have an official release date, but for the first time the broad time frame of 2021 has been narrowed down. Variety recently spoke to Sandra Dewey, Warner Media Entertainment's President of Production and Business Operations, about the current slate of HBO Max. During this conversation, the Snyder Cut was briefly mentioned, and Dewey revealed that the release window for the film is early to mid-2021. Beyond that, no specifics were given, but this at least gives us a better idea of when it will premiere. Zack Snyder still has to compare complete some work on Justice League before it can be released, and reportedly the work required a large budget. Still, most of the footage seems to have already been shot, so it's mostly just a lot of post-production work. With the anticipation being already high and HBO Max needing original content, it makes sense that those at Warner Media would be aiming for an earlier release. Now if we break this down, what could be the more specific time frame for Justice League's release date based on these recent comments? With Matt Reeves' Batman film coming out at the beginning of October next year, it could be likely that we get this release a few months prior to separate both projects so many general audience goers understand that there is no connection between them. With this in mind, and thinking about HBO's typical schedule of dropping big projects during the months of April, May and June, I'd have to say that I think this is when we could be seeing the Snyder Cut release. However, at this point, your guess is as good as mine, but based on these comments, it looks like we will be getting it slightly early on in the year. The one thing we do know is that more updates regarding the Snyder Cut are expected to arrive at DC's Fandome, a virtual convention that's taking place on August 22nd this year. While this event will cover numerous DC projects, the Justice League Snyder Cut is among those waiting to be discussed, and Snyder himself has confirmed he will be present. This guarantees that there will be some exciting news, whether it's an official release date or perhaps even a trailer. With the first teaser coming out last week, it does heavily suggest that we will be getting our first trailer very soon, but for now we'll just have to wait and see. Moving on, there has also been some new information surrounding Darkseid in Snyder's cut of the film. In particular, details about Darkseid's involvement in Justice League's history lesson scene have potentially been revealed. There are potentially spoilers for this scene, so if you want to go into the film completely blank, I'd recommend skipping this part of the video. For context, Darkseid, who was meant to be played by Ray Porter, was removed from the movie's 2017 iteration after Joss Whedon's extensive reshoots. With Zack Snyder getting the chance to finish his original vision for the narrative, more information has been revealed regarding what fans can expect from the HBO Max project, including new information about what Darkseid's part was going to be in the movie's massive fight sequence. Getting into the details, a Twitter user with the handle Unity514 translated the script from the mural in the Shrine of the Amazons, depicting what happened during the massive battle that Diana Prince told Bruce Wayne about surrounding Steppenwolf's first invasion in Justice League. The user's work gives the fans a rundown of what Darkseid's role in the history lesson sequence was going to be. The user states that the writing under the top part of the wall, which shows a circle with a parademon inside, is translated to parademons flying down through the ether. 
Some of the other translated writings say, the ether flying down and with a loud roaring clash of iron and blood and horses, they have pushed back the conspiracy of the invaders. This all leads to the most important translation which reads, the high thundering Zeus commanding his son Ares to severely punish and kill Darkseid. Therefore, because of what happened to Darkseid as a result, for his own sake he survived being only scorched but defeated in battle and eventually fled to the stars in a hurry. But the dominant soldiers left behind three boxes. Therefore, one box each was distributed among the three tribes so that they could watch over them if ever Darkseid invades again. This inscription translation backs up earlier reports that there would be a battle between Darkseid and Ares. It also reveals that Zeus commands his son to go after Ares and in the end, the villain survived but is injured severely, forcing him and his forces to retreat, leaving the three mother boxes, which are each given to the humans, Atlanteans and Amazonians to keep as a precautionary measure in case Darkseid ever tries to attack once again. Again. In the theatrical version of Justice League, Stephen Wolf leads the invasion in the movie, which makes sense considering that he's presented as the primary villain of that story. However, as fans of the Snyder Cut know, he's a brief villain to the eventual introduction of Darkseid. We'll have to see what happens, but this history scene definitely sounds fascinating considering Snyder has been excited in showing fans this sequence for the last few years. But that's all the new pieces of info we got surrounding Zack Snyder's Justice League. I am going to be doing much more videos on the film as we get closer to its release date in 2021, along with updates whenever we get them. As a fan of Snyder's Man of Steel, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the director will complete his vision, alongside a much greater presence of Ray Porter's dark side. Since I loved how Snyder portrayed the history sequences, I'm really excited to see what he does with this one. But let me know down below when you think the Snyder Cut will release and whether the newest pieces of information surrounding Darkseid have you even more excited for the arrival of his character. Again, for more videos surrounding the Snyder Cut of Justice League, along with coverage of many other movies such as Tenet and Dune, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.